Hey, Grant here with SkiPult.com. I'm standing in front of the snow clipper. Um, every year, every season, we get a lot of questions about pulling kids in pulks. I know that uh, there's a lot of parents out there who want to get their toddlers outside and their younger kids, and uh, the snow clipper is a good option for that. This sled combined with the, our rigid poles, as well as a nice harness, gives you adequate control so you can uh, control the sled behind you. The snow clipper has these molded in slots so you can you can add in a backrest of your own. These backrests in particular are just half inch plywood and um, you can see I kind of cut them to look like a backrest and they slide right in the molded in slots that the snow clipper has in the center of the sled. On the back of the sled, the slot isn't nearly as prominent. So what I did there is I took uh, one carriage bolt and I did drill a hole in the back of the sled. Right here you can see, I didn't want to mess up the fancy sticker so I, I kept the hole above the sticker right here and I just have uh, one bolt holding in that backrest and it's, it's plenty stable with just that one bolt. Um, another option for backrests is to take some corrugated plastic. It's, it's pretty stable, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's much lighter weight than, than a half inch plywood and it'll also work for a backrest as well <clears throat> um, inside the snow clipper. One thing that you can do to your backrests is pad them with foam. I've seen some folks take a, a pool noodle and slice it in half and wrap it around the top of the backrest and that way you don't have any uh, sharp edges for anybody to, to hit their hands on and so on and so forth. Some measurements on these backrests. <clears throat> I always recommend that you start bigger than you need to because if you cut it too small then you're stuck with that size but I'm on the middle backrest right now and at the top of the cutout where it kind of matches up with the sled at the top I'm sitting right around that 16 inches or so and, and I could go a little bit wider with that and at the bottom of the cutout I'm right around 14 and a half inches um, where, it, where it meshes in with the bottom of the sled. That's the middle backrest. And for the back backrest, at the bottom I'm right around 14 and a half inches. And at the top of the cutout, I'm right around 15 and a half inches. So the backrests are a little bit different in size uh, from the middle to the back. So once I get some rough measurements, I just uh, cut them out with a jigsaw. And uh, then after I get them all cut out, then I'll go to my more precise fitting and I'll do some sanding. I'll sand the edges uh, to make sure there's no slivers and sharp spots. And I'll uh, sand even right in here to make sure it slides in nicely into the molded in slot and also into the, the back of the sled. And that way you get a nice fit and uh, you keep the sharp edges off. The backrest is, is something that we don't sell, um, but if you have questions about installing backrests in your snow clipper, you can go ahead and give us a call or email. Another option to pull kids as well uh, there's a couple of sleds out there. One of them is by Pelican, uh, and that one's called the Baby Sled. And we've also attached our poles and, and uh, channel kit to that sled and pulled our own kids around. And then Aeropro, the same company who makes the, the common Paris sled, they have a little kid's sled called the Snowflake, and we've also used that one. Um, <clears throat> Both of those sleds have a harness, kind of like a seat belt inside, and uh, they also come with covers, optional covers, if you want those. Um, but I hope that gives you some, some good options, some good ideas to, to get your kids outside. 
Happy polking. Grant was ski polk.